find the better diamond than this for the price, I should. like he lost his best friend and now you look why don't we go to the cafeteria and talk I think maybe i can help thanks but i don't think anybody can laura at least i'll try look um i know that ring that scotty brought you means an awful lot to you and to your future if something's happened to jeopardize that i'd really like to know about it so concerned about Scotty. Listen, what is, what's happened between the two of you? I mean, we're so happy. Um, how much is this? Oh, Marjorie. No, just... Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Chris. Hello. Hello, Laura. Hi, Dr. Quarterman. Bobby? and Leslie about your engagement, then they haven't been able to go check, so what happened? Monica, we couldn't tell them. Hey, I've been around long enough to know when two people are in love, and you and Scotty are in love. So what is the problem? I can't really explain it all. But there is someone who's trying to come between us. I know that um, you're not involved with another guy, and uh, Scotty could look at another girl if he tried. You don't understand. Maybe I don't. Are you just going to stand back and let this someone get away with it? I don't want to, but then... Then don't. Mean it. 
I know from experience, Laura. The only way to handle something like this is to just confront the person and tell them it's not going to work. You really mean that, Monica? I really mean that, Laura. For you all morning. Gave him all three of your messages, Monica. Thank you. Well, now that you've found me, what can I do for you? Tonight, we're coming over to your house for dinner. Good. Glad. Monica, am I glad I found you? Are you free to assist me right now? No, of course. Good. Jesse, would you get an OR ready for me immediately? Yes, of course. Thank you. Face right there. Well, honey, it's good to see you back on your old stand. You're carrying on. I guess it's better than feeling sorry for myself. Well, let's have some fun tonight, all right? We'll just uh, try to forget all our problems. And I will personally take that upon myself, even if I have to resort to doing an imitation of Rick to get a few laughs. I, I didn't know you did an imitation of me. I, I'd like to see it sometime. Well, I'm not so sure you would, Rick. It might be the end of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello. Good evening. Hello, Rick. How are you? All right. Monica. Hello. 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 Hello
And, and having to tell her that night, what could have made that happen? It has nothing to do with his feelings for you. I don't understand that. And I don't believe it. Well, I know it's hard for you to understand. Laura. Look, whatever happens, I know Scotty loves you. You've got to hold on to that. And not lose faith in that love. I don't think I can believe in anything anymore, Monica. I, I feel as though I've just lost everything. Well, you haven't. Hey. How come you didn't tell Leslie and, and Rick? I couldn't. I, I, I couldn't. Why? How, how could I tell them that I, I've been the same kind of fool again? That I've done exactly what I did with David. I, I trusted Scotty the same way I trusted David, and the same thing happened to me again. I'm, I'm just too humiliated to tell them. Laura, hey, come on, baby. Oh, so cute. Oh. I, I feel better now that I've told you. Yes, I know, I know. It's okay. I, I, I couldn't tell anyone else, Monica, but... I know you understand. Oh, of course I do. Of course I do.